Alright, what's going on guys? I am bringing you my custom class setup video and in this video I'm basically just going to be going through the six classes that I have made at the moment. I'm not sure if you can unlock more classes, like if I can have 10 classes, you know, like usual or, you know, what, 15, 20, how many ever um, there may be, but I would like to have at least 10, but, you know, at the moment you can only have six, so who knows how they're going to, um, you know, maybe there's... I don't know if you prestige, like if you can unlock more or whatever. But anyways, that's not important. This is like probably like the most requested video I've had since the release of Ghost. So these are my classes at the moment, and these are always sub subject to change. I'll probably do another one of these in like a week to two weeks when I really have like got a good understanding for the game. But if you're new to the game, these classes are definitely some of the best out there at the moment. So you guys should enjoy them, and uh, hopefully you'll try it out for yourself. One thing I will say about all these classes is don't worry about the gun as much. Um, you know, guns, it's all about what gun you like to use. Um, but the perk setups and stuff all have a very specific reasoning for why I'm using those perks. So, um, yeah, anyways, so let's get started here. This is my free-for-all class. I'm using the AK-12. This is probably my favorite gun at the moment. Um, at least for fully auto guns, it's my favorite. I always run it with either suppressor and extended mags or grip and extended mags, depending on the setup. You guys will see later on in the video. Um, but yeah, so let's get, I, I always run no lethals, no secondaries, no tacticals, nothing like that. Um, I don't know, I don't feel like it's beneficial in this game, I'd rather have an extra perk. So, that's just my thing. So these are my perks for free-for-all. Um, Stalker, obviously, for all ARs, and then I have Amplify, because sound whoring is a huge thing in free-for-all. If you guys haven't played that yet, that's what everyone does, so you've got to do it as well, if you want to keep up. And Focus, obviously, to win gunfights, and then Ready Up, I just threw that on there, because... I, need, I had an extra point, and uh, that's probably the best one-point perk there is. It's kind of like dexterity. And then wiretap. So the reason I did wiretap is, in free-for-all, a lot of people call in UAVs, and the thing about it is, you know, wiretap, as soon as, like, two people in free-for-all call in a UAV, that means that I get a UAV. So I felt like it's a pretty good perk, and uh, I usually get a UAV up um, for, like, half the game in free-for-all running this perk, so... Um, in my opinion, it's pretty much worth it, and UAVs and free-for-all actually help quite a bit. So anyways, that's the reasoning for that. And then, so for my unlocks for specialist, at 3 I get dead silence. Self-explanatory, you don't want to be heard that much in free-for-all. People are trying to sound whore. You need dead silence. Then sleight of hand, and then um, dead eye. And the reason I do dead eye at 12 is because um, that's about halfway to my Moab. So, halfway to my chem strike, sorry. I gotta get used to saying chem strike. And uh, around that point, I want to make sure that I win every single gunfight. So, you know, if I can get some extra bullet damage on there, um, you know, I feel like around halfway, that's when the streak is actually serious. And uh, I really need to make sure that I don't die off anything. So the extra bullet damage definitely helps me out. And then for my specialist unlocks, I have Scavenger, Tack Mask, Flak Jacket, and Hardline. And the reasoning for that is because basically um, I need the ammo because I'm going on a streak. I need the... Uh, well, let me let me turn off my notification because I'm pretty sure I'm about to get invited a lot. Um, but anyways, yeah, I need the ammo because I'm you know trying to go on a streak. I don't want to get stunned. I don't want to get naded. And the reason I put hardline on is because um, I want 24 instead of 25 kills, basically. Um, you know, you never know when you're going to be one off and die, so I'd rather put the hardline on there and make and not take that risk. So anyways, now this is my solo specialist class. Same gun, same you know lethals and all that shit. I don't use that. Um, the only thing that changes here is the perks, and because I'm playing solo, I'm using wiretap and off the grid. Um, you know, you got to do it. There's a lot of UAV spam, so the off grid, off the grid, take keeps me off. You know, the radar and the wiretap takes advantage of the UAV spam. Um, you know, so I don't have to worry about it, and it'll still benefit me at the same time. So I feel like the good, that's a good combo. And then for my strike package, pretty self-explanatory. It's basically almost the same as uh, free for all. All these perks I already kind of went over it, so there you go. Oh, let's go to my Assault Solo. Um, same gun, obviously. Um, you're going to see this gun in, I think, five out of my six setups. Um, and one of them is a little bit different, but anyways. Um, so my perks, so this is for Assault. So the only difference really I put here is I put Hardline in, because I feel like that actually helps more with Assault than it does with Specialist, because you're always cycling streaks. Um, so, you know, one less kill actually does help quite a bit. And the streaks that I run, now the streaks, you don't really have to worry about these, because they'll change depending on what map I'm playing. But, um, these are like the basic streaks that I would run, um, you know, on any map. But, you know, some maps, um, require better streaks and, uh, some maps don't. So, it just depends on what map I'm playing. Now, this class is specialist when I'm with my team or, or I'm playing with friends. And basically, I use the MSBS because this is probably the best, um, unsilenced gun in the game. 
This is the best like burst gun in the game as well, and pretty much like one burst everything. So really like this gun, but I don't really want to use it solo because I don't want to show up on the radar, and it's not that good with the silencer. It's still good, but it's not that good. So yeah, um, pretty much every single one of these perks is to help me win gunfights. As you can see, there's no stealth perks here. Um, they're all like gunfight perks and perks that will keep me alive, stuff like that. Um, pretty much all to help me get the chem strike. So anyways, those are the perks I use on this class. And now we're moving on to the assault. This is this is an unsilenced AK, so that's the only difference here. I put grip on it instead. And uh, this is the same thing. Basically, it's all perks to help me win gunfights. But I also had I also threw in uh, scavenger and hardline in here because obviously I don't have specialist bonus, so I need to have these in my um, basic perk setup because they do help with assault. And of once again, basic assault kill streaks, but they do change depending on what map we are playing. And the last one is the blitz setup. And this one's a little bit different. I have um, Scavenger and I have uh, Flak Jacket because we kind of what we kind of do in Blitz at the moment is we kind of contain. We don't necessarily like spawn trap. It's not really like spawn trap. It's kind of like an interchange A containment or uh, a resistance C containment. If you guys have seen those videos from me, you guys kind of know what I'm saying. Um, you know, we're not sitting there watching them spawn. Obviously, you know that's the goal. You know, I think within a couple more weeks we may be able to figure something out, but. You know, at, at right now we just kind of contain them and, uh, you know, kind of just sit back, pick them off when they're trying to run out. You guys have seen, you know, my assault moabs in, uh, or as, uh, you've only seen one of them, I guess, at the moment. Um, the one I uploaded earlier today, but you kind of saw what we do. But yeah, so that's the reasoning for that. I need the blast shield because I noticed that a lot of people do throw nades in this game. I don't know if that's just me, but I noticed that. So um, I ended up putting this here because I did not want to die. So yeah. And then the streaks here, they're pretty much basic streaks, but I put on sentry gun because that does kind of help when we're trying to, you know, keep them all contained in one area. The sentry gun is like almost like an extra person, so um, I felt like that's pretty good. But yeah, these are my class setups as of right now. Hope you guys enjoyed them. If you have any questions about the class setups, just leave a comment. I'll answer it. And uh, any concerns like that, just leave a comment, and I'll see what I can do for you. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Now, keep in mind... The game's pretty new right now. I haven't even played it for a week yet. You know, this weekend it'll be a week for me. So, you know, I, I know like probably a little bit more than you guys since I got it early. But, you know, I'm no expert either. And, uh, you know, probably within another two weeks or so, I'll do another one of these videos. And these classes might change. You know, there might be some new god gun that we find is really amazing that we don't even know about right now. Who knows? Um, but, you know, we don't know everything yet. So, but at least for right now, if you're new to the game, these classes, if you try to, you know, replicate this, you'll definitely do well with these classes. They're, they're some of the best out there. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter. All those links will be in the description. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I will catch you guys later. Have a good day, and peace out.